All right, we made it to the final video of chapter two. We're gonna finish up um, distribution shapes. Um, so for each of these following examples, we're gonna specify the likely distribution. So again, distribution is shape. And we're saying likely because again, these are just samples and the shape might fill out a little bit differently if we had collected more data. Um, so just what makes the most sense. So let's look at this first one. We have a histogram of people's ages. Um, and so I'm just going to draw a little curve and kind of see what kind of shape it might make. So to me, I look like I have a little bit of a tail on the left side, which means this would be left skewed. Right, it doesn't make that perfect bell shape, right, but it looks like it's filling in that with a little bit of a tail on the left. So let's look at the next one. So this is um, a mini tab version of a stem and leaf. Mini tab is just an application. Um, mini tab for some reason doesn't put the line down the middle, so I'm gonna add it myself, but it is the same graph we've been making. Um, it's the same one we made a couple videos ago in section two, three, and it's really hard to see the shape with a stem leaf, right? It just looks weird. Um, but what I notice is if I turn my head sideways, so this would be the bottom, you can kind of see shape. So turn your paper sideways and it looks very, very slightly right skewed, right? Because we have a slight tail on the right. So this would be right skewed. So stem and leaves are really just kind of like sideways histograms in terms of shape. Cool. Um, here's a dot plot we did back in 2.2. Um, dot plots can be really hard to see shape. It's really tempting to say this is severely skewed, um, but dot plots are kind of just skewed overall because we're putting dots rather than like grouping numbers. So what I do instead is I look for clusters. So I notice maybe a cluster over here on the right side, which means we would have a peak. And then I notice spread out on the left side. So if this were histogram, it might look like that. So I would say this is left skewed. Um, I'm not going to say severely because dot plots already look severe, so I'm just going to go with left skewed. If I were curious about severe, I might make a histogram to check that out. Cool, and so I just have a couple more. Um, let's look at real life examples that maybe aren't graphs yet and maybe kind of guess what kind of shape they would make. So let's say we sample thousands of people, so that just means we have a nice big sample. And we want to look at the last digit of their phone number. So that could be 0 through 9. So we're not looking at a full phone number, right? We have all these digits like 510, 555, right? 1, 2, 3, 4. We're looking at this last digit. So this is kind of just a random number, right? Our phone number can end with anything. So I think we're going to have this nice, like, even chart. Do all the numbers show up exactly the same? Probably not, right? That's sampling error or random variation. So maybe there's an extra eight or an extra two. Um, maybe four shows up a couple extra times, right? But should be pretty close to even. And this was called uniform. And that's because each number should be equally likely. Hope that makes sense. Send me questions if not. Um, now let's go to Great America, right, the amusement park, and look at the ages of people. So I'll go, I'll go by tens. I'm just sketching to get a general idea. Um, 80, maybe some 90 year olds, maybe not. It's Great America. Um, what kind of distribution do we expect? So again, we're looking for shape. So I don't think all ages are equally likely anymore. Uh, I'm going to do bars on this one just to make life a little easier. Um, I think there will be a lot of kids at Great America. And then as we get older, I think it's going to be less common, right? The adult ages, there's going to be less adults, and their ages are also going to be more spread out. Um, so I would probably argue that this is less skewed. 
right? More kids, less adults. Or sorry, right skewed. Mm -hmm. Right, the tail's on the right. So it's the fact that there's probably less adults, right? One adult will probably have multiple kids. And then also just adults in general, their ages are more spread out, right? There might be 30-year-old parents. There might be 50-year-old parents. There might be grandparents taking the kids to the park. So we'll get a right skewed distribution. Um, um, so let's look at hours that students studied for an exam. If you hear growling, that's my dog. I don't know why. I sorry. Um, so we have a large number of students studied a lot. So here's a lot of hours, right? Lots and lots and lots of students studied a lot, right? Maybe not exactly the same. Um, and then a similar number of students didn't study much. So maybe the middle hours are kind of empty. And then we have a lot of students who didn't study at all. Um, and then it's likely that there's probably a few in the middle, right? So this is probably U-shaped or bimodal because we'd have two peaks. U-shaped uh, just means these last ones are the tallest and we don't necessarily know that. It's possible there's a few more over here and then that makes it bimodal. So I think we could interpret it either way. Um, we're guessing likely distribution, so likely means we might not be correct, so there might be more than one answer as well. And our final example is quiz scores, and it's an easy quiz. So let's just do zero through five for simplicity. All right, let's say it's a five-point quiz. So if it's an easy quiz, what are most of us getting? Probably fours and fives. Does that mean no one did poorly? No, maybe a few people did poorly, right? But most students would do well. So this would probably be severely left skewed, maybe even left exponential. Right. Most, most have high scores. Just a short explanation, kind of defending why we think that. And then we made it through chapter two and for watching all these videos, um, we'll get a reward and draw a flower on our homework too to get a bonus point. Maybe you can draw a better flower than me. So I'll see you back for chapter three. Let me know if you have any questions.